Hi, my name is Scott KW4JM. I've been working on CW for a while now, and I've had time to reflect on how I might have gone about it better. So the purpose of this video is to give you five points that I wish I had done and which I now offer you in case you're just starting out on this journey. So, point number one. The first point is lose the visual. You see this? Never look at that again. Throw it away. Morse code is purely a hearing experience. If you learn the letters visually, you will have only added one more mental process that your brain must complete as you're listening to code. So, the lesson is Learn code by hearing each letter as a complete sound, not by looking at little black marks on a page. If you've already made this blunder, you can work out of it. I did. By losing the visual and listening to the sound of each letter. In order to learn the letters, I don't think there's any better way than to use the Koch Farnsworth method. And I'm going to give you a link right now to a site called AA9PW, which is an excellent way to use the Koch Farnsworth method. And then I'm going to say more about it in a second. Did you notice under the uh, site reference that it said five words per minute and 25 words per minute Farnsworth? That is very important because the idea is to hear the dits and dahs as fast as you can, but to have enough space between the letters so that you can, you'll have time to learn and interpret what you heard. Over time, you'll shorten the, the Farnsworth spacing between the letters, but you will always keep the letter itself to be very fast so that you will learn the whole sound and not, and not count dits and dahs. My mentors convinced me a long time ago that you will never go anywhere in Morse code unless you lose the pencil and learn to hear code in your head. Once you get up to about 15 words per minute, the letters are coming at you so fast that you really don't have time to write them down. And if you stay chained to your pencil, you'll never go any faster than that, and you'll never learn to hear code as words. Use your pencil for the early stages of Koch Farnsworth, where you're learning letters and numbers. But when you move to words, lose the pencil. And of course, the exception to this rule is your logbook, where you must use your pencil to write down call signs and signal reports. Wordsworth is the idea of George Allison, K1IG. And you can read his article about it in the May 2017 issue of QST. The idea is Farnsworth, but for words, not letters. You're going to need an app for your computer or your phone that converts text to a CW audio file, like an MP3 file or a WAV file. And you're going to need this no matter what method you use to learn code. In Wordsworth, what you do is you lift a text, say from a news article or from a list of words. You put it into Word, and then using the find and replace function, you change the one space between the words to, say, eight spaces. Then in your CW audio file, you set the speed for faster than you're used to, 15, 20, 25, even 30 words per minute, so that the information is coming at you so fast that you're forced to try to listen to each word as a word instead of a series of letters. But you've got a long space between the words to reflect and interpret. Now, as time goes on, uh, over the course of weeks, maybe months, you go back into Word and you shorten that space to 7, to 6, to 5, and so forth until you're, you're hearing words at a high rate of speed with a short space in between. I've concluded that my future in CW is hearing words instead of letters. It is frankly laborious to listen to a rag chew letter by letter. 
think if that's the way your friends spoke to you, their words letter by letter, you'd go crazy. And that's what Wordsworth is designed to do, to help you to begin to start listening to words as words instead of a series of letters. This is where I am now. I've got a long way to go. But, hey, this is a hobby. I enjoy it. There are many tools out there that convert to text in the CDW audio files, but I use an app on my iPhone called Morse Mail, Morse Mail, M-A-I-L, by Scott Gottfried. You can use it anywhere because it's on your phone, like when you're stuck in the dentist lobby. All you have to have is some earbuds handy in your pocket, and you can pass away idle time anywhere with your friend CW. I've used it this single tool more than any other tool in my CW learning experience. Head send is a term I invented, I think, but I did not invent the concept. We should all practice sending code a little every day. Now you can send a stock CW practice sentence like the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog's back or other similar sentences that include all the letters of the alphabet. But that is not what I mean by head send. Head send is when you send a sentence from your head instead of from printed text. And trust me, it's harder to do. So send something that you know by heart, a song lyric, a Bible verse you've memorized, the Lord's Prayer, anything that you know by heart. And practice sending every day, even five minutes a day because it takes lots of practice to send on the air even passably well. And sending is another powerful tool for helping your mind grasp code for both sending and receiving. So that's my video, and those are my five tips. This is how I would do it if I were starting all over again. CW is great fun, and I wish you great success.